What is up, everyone? My name is Phil. The channel is Phil's Polls. And we're back with another card opening video. Today, we've got another product review video. We're going to be taking a look at the brand new 2020 Tops Tribute. Now, I know this doesn't look like much, but it's actually a full case of Tribute. Uh, pretty high-end product, um, runs about $300 a box, and with stuff like this, I don't really like to open just one or two boxes because it can give a really bad impression of what we're looking at overall here. So uh, we're doing a full case. Uh, there are case a case hit, which is like a, you know, a veteran autograph. I forget what they're called, but um, those are case hit. And you actually only get two base rookie cards per case, which I thought was interesting. But um, nevertheless, there's lots of cool stuff in here. Let us uh, open up this case and see what these boxes look like. This just came out today, so there you have it. One autograph and auto relic or regular relic per box. And there are six boxes in a case. And there they are. Move those off to the side. So, um, like I said, high end, runs about $300 um, a box, six packs, three cards per pack, three on card autographs, and game used memorabilia cards per box. So, um, not a lot of cards, but uh, pretty expensive. And uh, there's actually a, a pretty cool Mike Trout set in this. It's only 15 cards, um, autos, and they're all one of ones. Obviously, you know, pretty rare if we would get one of those, but. Regardless, still kind of cool that they threw that in there. Um, all the rookies are in the regular autos, and then, the, like I said, you only get two base card rookies per box, or per case, and I believe they're all numbered to $4.99. So let's, uh, let's get into it. Leave a like, subscribe if you uh, enjoy the product review videos. Um, a lot of people say that they're uh, pretty helpful gives you an idea of, you know, if it's something that you'd be interested in, in picking up. Top's Tribute actually didn't get delayed, like a lot of stuff is right now, so that's that's kind of nice. Um, kind of looks like a standard box, doesn't look like your typical, um, you know, high-end type thing. These feel like thicker packs, so I'm going to kind of set those aside, and we'll start with these ones. Very, uh, very loose packs, which is kind of interesting. Maybe it's so it can it can fit like a crazy relic card if they need to. Um, so, Tribute always has a really nice design. It's got like that very kind of, I don't know, plasticky, shiny front. So we got a Wade Boggs. It's not numbered, just a base card. And we have an auto right out of the gate. Wilson Contreras, 142 of 150. I really like the design on these very, very much. Looks really nice. And then we have a uh, Pete Alonzo base. So there's one of our autos. Let's open up a thick pack. Jose Abreu there on the back. So I'll actually just slide that to the front. There's the uh, Abreu. Put a nice little piece of paper in between so none of the cards get scratched. Because these, these will scratch pretty easily, as you can see. That's like The front is almost like glass. And uh, this should be a relic. Let's see who we have. It's to 50, and it's Yelich. Triple relic. Very nice. Nothing crazy about the patches there. Or the uh, jersey swatches, I should say because there is no patch, but Christian Yelich, 250, is a relic. And we'll keep an eye out for those rookie base cards, because like I said, you only get two per case, which is, I thought was pretty interesting, but I guess we'll, uh, curious what those are gonna sell for, being so rare. Mets, David Cohn, base card. Haven't seen any parallel base yet. Garrett Cole, still in his uh, Astros uni. Interesting that uh, 2020 Tops, which came out in January, had him in um, his Yankees uniform, but Tribute, which is, uh, came out today, does not. Um, and 
This guy follows me, I swear. 13 of 50. Altuve. Auto. Patch with the uh, little certification there. Tribute autograph patch card. Altuve. Some, uh... This stuff still still sells actually pretty decent, considering all that uh, all that's gone down. I mean, really cool looking card. Not exactly the guy I would have wanted, but you know, nevertheless. So we got a Bellinger base, flexing, Acuna, and Conforto and Jeff McNeil. Nice little pinstripe there on the uh, Conforto. Dual relic to one fifty. I gotta say, I'm a big fan of the design this year. These are really, really nice looking cards. Tribute generally is is really nice. Um, but, yeah, they just look so good. And they have almost like that... It's not really picking up on the camera, but they have like almost uh, like a little refractor-ish thing going on. Tony Gwynn, one of my favorite players growing up. And that's one of my favorite unis, too, that they, they had. They actually brought him back. Um, Honus Wagner... And let's see who we got. Ooh, it's a Judge Auto. 221 of 20 on the Judge. So I think that should be our last auto of the box. Um, has a uh, unfortunate corner there, which is really is a bummer because that's probably our best hit of the box so far. I'll probably contact Tops about getting a replacement for that. Who knows what they'll do, but. Yeah, that's a really bad ding. And uh, pretty unfortunate being the nicest card out of the box. So, <clears throat> kind of uh, kind of unfortunate there. I mean, I'm not going to knock them for, you know, damage happens. But, um, Donnie Baseball? Okay, so there's our first base parallel. It's a Goldschmidt to 99, which is like a, a green, I guess. And our hit is a Walker Bueller stamp of approval to 150. So very similar to the Altuve, except it's a, you know, non-auto. Um, you can actually uh, type in that serial number on MLB.com and it'll tell you exactly what game it was from, which is kind of cool. Nowadays with all the uh, player-worn relics, which are pretty lame, just means the player like had it on for a second. Um, it, it's nice to actually see, you know, game used and know what game it's from. Really, uh, I think that's cool. So thicker cards or thicker packs are generally going to be the relics, um, which are like these three, and then autos will probably be in these ones. But let's open up because we have seen some auto relics. So let's open up the thicker card pack first. Chris Paddock, not a rookie. Tom Seaver. There's the Paddock. Still haven't seen one of our rookies yet. And ooh, that's kind of cool. We got a Griffey bat and an Edgar Martinez jersey to 99, 26 and 99. I saw Griffey when I pulled this card back and I was really hoping to be an auto because that would be pretty amazing, but still a nice card. Dual relic. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I might actually order more of this because I really like it. Uh, Scherzer. Lindor on the back there, and 71 of 150, Al Kaline. Just passed away um, two days ago, I want to say. Hall of Famer, legend, Al Kaline. Probably the last, uh, last on-card auto uh, he ever did, which um, is kind of, I don't know, kind of feels, feels weird holding it, but... Um, Al Kaline. Very cool card. It's one of those one of those cards you um, just put in the PC and um, just appreciate you have, you know, regardless of, of value or anything like that. Al Kaline. Pretty cool. Um, moving on. Uh, Gary Sanchez. Juan Soto base. Really like the photos in here as well. And uh, Paul Goldschmidt. Uh, triple Relic to 150. All right, so let's go back to a thinner pack. That K-Line, man, I'm like, <laughs> I don't know why why that like hit me. 
just obviously, you know, a, a fantastic player. Every, everything I read, you know, said how great of a guy he was. And to have that be on card is, uh, is pretty crazy. Trey Turner and Brendan Rogers auto to 99. So not a, uh, not a rookie, but Brendan Rogers, nice, uh, young player for the Rockies. Auto to 99. All this stuff is on card too, which I think is fantastic. Um, you know, triple threads, as much as people love it, it just doesn't do it for me as far as the uh, all the stickers that you do have. And this is an interesting card. Not sure what's going on with it, but uh, we got an Aussie Albies. You can see it's kind of like dark or clear or something. Interesting. Uh, Aussie Albies on the back. Glaber on the front, and without spoiling this, let's see what it's going to be. That's uh, Walker Bueller, right? Yeah, Walker Bueller to 99. I forget what these are called. I did see them in the uh, sell sheet. So you can see it's kind of clear. You can see the auto coming right through it. Iconic Perspectives, that's what it was. So uh, Walker Bueller, really beautiful card. This video is actually going to end up being uh, on the long side, which I didn't think would happen because it's kind of a uh, uh, not too many cards per box, but that's okay. It'll be it'll be a fun video. Um, only two boxes in, four left, and uh, I'm I'm really liking this. Ooh, look at that, Jackie Robinson base to fifty, and the the photos they use are just so good. I really like that, and. Uh, Got a Chris Sale, also a purple stamp of approval, to 50. So there's our relic. Mariano obviously was our base card on the front. Move those to the side, make some room for myself. So box three, um, been, been happy with uh, with what we have so far. No, no rookie autos or rookie base, which I, I guess would even be just as rare, but you, are, uh, you do get two per uh, case. And we haven't hit uh, a case hit. I believe yet. So there's our packs again. I'll just go through them as an order because it doesn't really matter. You can feel that some of them are thicker, but it just means it's a relic and it could be a um, an auto relic and stuff. So Reggie Jackson, they're rocking the uh, the shades. We've got a uh, Ernie Banks on the back. Mike Trout out of 25. That'll do. Nice card, holy cow. Mike Trout auto to 25, not the one of one set, you know, his exclusive uh, 15 card one of one set, but who's complaining about a Trout auto to 25, right? Very, very nice card, all right. People always, you know, say, how can you open such a, you know, you get a great card and you don't have much reaction. Um, that's, that's my I'm happy reaction. So apologies if it's not, uh, you know, flipping my desk over. Roberto Clemente, base, Ripken base, and Jose Canseco to 150. Still a nice looking card. Jose Canseco. Not as cool as the Trout. Because Jose um, is kind of a weirdo and uh, did steroids. So, Whoa. roasted. Not the biggest fan. Babe Ruth base, Ichiro base, and I believe this is another auto, Austin Meadows. Yeah, to 25. So, some low numbered autos in this box. Obviously, the Trout being uh, pretty amazing. Austin Meadows, nice player. Uh, not a rookie or anything like that. This pack feels very, very heavy. Um, not sure what that really means, but. Uh, George Brett to 99. Uh, okay. Robel Garcia to 99, rookie auto. And so we have like two things in this. Interesting. Two hits in one pack. Uh, stamp of approval, JD Martinez to 99. And I hit dingers. Uh, and the base card was a parallel. So is that like a... A hot pack or something. I don't know if that's intentional, but um, Rookie Auto to 99 Rebel Garcia 
JD Martinez stamp for approval in 99, and our base card was to 99 of George Brett. So, uh, weird pack. I'm not sure if that's normal to have hot packs like that, but um, okay, we'll take it. Eloy, not a rookie. Edgar Martinez, also not a rookie. How about that? By a wide margin. And we got a duel. Stanton and Judge. A couple uh, power hitters there. I'm curious where that black jersey came from. Maybe uh, Players Weekend? Something like that. A little pinstripe on the Judge relic. Very, very nice. And uh, last pack of box three. Got a George Brett on the back, Walker Bueller on the front. There's the Brett, we just saw the uh, green parallel of that. And we have a green Brandon Lau, bat, double jersey, triple relic. So I'll go through and count later um, if there's, you know, an extra hit in there, which I think there was, because each pack, we weren't shorter to hit out of any packs, and we had two and one, so. Not too bad. Still looking out for our, we have a rookie auto now, but we don't have a rookie base card, which um, you are guaranteed to, and we haven't hit our case hit yet. At least that I'm aware of. Jacob deGrom on the back. We've got a uh, Ted Williams. And let's see, who's this? Oh, Brennan McKay. To 199 rookie auto. So there's our second rookie auto. This being the... Uh, Horizontal version. Very nice. And the DeGrom is to 99, a green. A lot of, uh, a lot of fanfare around McKay just because he, uh, oh, well, there you go. There's an Aquino rookie. Uh, Roger Clemens. Well, there's four cards in here. Okay. Aquino to 99. So, uh, the Base rookies are to $4.99, and we actually hit a parallel of a rookie, and uh, that's a nice one, Aquino. Probably not a top three rookie, but uh, I would say he's maybe the fourth. Very nice card, cool photo. Him just uh, flexing over there. And uh, we got a Roger Clemens, and then we actually have four cards in this pack, so who knows what's going on. Um, Jeff McNeil base. Okay, so I guess if you get a rookie, you get an extra base card. Uh, Jeff McNeil to 50. And... Nice. Stamp of approval. Keston Hira to 25. I like Keston. This card's probably not worth that much. Um, it is a cool, you know, it's got the little the hologram on there, but it's not an auto. And not a rookie, but regardless. Good player. All right. Harold Baines, Nick Senzel, there's our uh, Harold Baines in the little throwback uni there, and this looks like it's Another one. Aaron Judge Auto to 10. It's kind of hard to see, it just looks like it's uh, signed, like that photo is just on the card, but it's actually, there's like a, like a window pain here and the image of him in the back is kind of like offset it's really hard to pick up but three of ten Aaron Judge franchise best autograph card our second judge auto of the, of the case this is the case hit uh, franchise best I, I remember reading that on the sell sheet yeah really really nice card <clears throat> they did a great job with these they're really, really clean. Um, obviously, that Judge Auto we had had the ding on it, but you know the design is is really, really nice. There's a trout base, very cool. Jim Tomey, and let's see who we got here. CC to fifty. CC Auto to fifty. I just went on his uh, podcast the other day. R two C two. Go and check that out. I'll see if I can link the, uh, the link, the link. I'll see if I can link that podcast episode um, down in the description. I'm sure I can figure it out. It's just a matter of whether I remember or not. Uh, A-Rod, Mookie Betts, Bass, and 
Ricky Henderson, Reggie Jackson, dual relic. 299. Bat on the Ricky Henderson, Reggie Jackson, and A's Uni jersey. Very cool. I'm curious what these say. Is it a certified dual relic card? The relics contained in this card are not from any specific game, event, or season. Okay, so um, could just be, you know, a bat, any bat. But um, regardless, I don't like when they do that, but there's only so much game use stuff to go around, you know? Uh, Aaron Otto, base on the front, base on the back is that Jackie Robinson. We've seen that card before. And let's see what this is going to be. Robbie Alomar, triple. Yep, to 150. Wonder if there's any uh, game use spit on any of those relics. Game use memorabilia does say game use, so there's a chance. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Robbie Alomar got really upset and spit on an umpire. An unfortunate uh, kind of highlights, not, or low light, I guess, of uh, an otherwise amazing career. Uh, this is box five, and we're like 20, almost 23 minutes into this video, so this will be one of my longer ones, but um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. These cards are amazing. Chipper Jones, base on the back, Dijon on the front, and what do we have? Yuck. Pack two. Josh Bell, Javi Baez, and Lance McCullers Jr. Uh, to 199. Bad box so far. Nowhere to go from up. Nowhere to go but up from up. Uh, Vladdy Sr., Ricky Henderson base, and a Jose Ramirez triple relic. So, uh... Probably our worst box so far, which means we might have something really nice these last few packs. Let's find out. Ken Griffey Jr., Ty Cobb, base card. Jordan Yamamoto, rookie auto to 150. He's uh, signing a lot of stuff this year. Not that I think he's a bad player, but um, his autos certainly aren't rare. Uh, so this is pack five. We got a nice Vladdy base, second year base, Joey Gallo base, and Carlton Fisk to 25. Nice card there on the uh, on the Fisk, very very nice. And uh, let's see what our last pack. I think we we've only had no, we have had three autos, so we're probably. And there's our other our other rookie. Um, was really hoping for a uh, Jordan Alvarez or uh, Bouchette. But we got Puck and, uh, yep, and there you go. So you get four cards when you get your rookie hit. So that's our second of the case. Um, Alonzo to 99, base card. And there's our Puck to 450. I think I said 499 originally, so it's 450. But our Aquino was um, lower numbered. And uh, Nick Senzel, stamp of approval to 150. So... Maybe our worst box of the case, I would say. Let's see how we're going to do. But, I mean, our other boxes are pretty amazing, to be honest. Alkaline Auto, Trout Auto, Judge Case Hit Auto, another Judge Auto with a, you know, thing corner. But uh, let's see what, let's see what our last pack box has in store. Got a Bryce Harper base on the back there. Bogarts on the front. And let's see what our hit's going to be. Looks like a duel. Otani Trout. Not an auto, unfortunately, but uh, Shohei. Little road jersey there. And uh, Mike Trout Bat. Otani Trout. Those always sell really well just because um, two highly collectible players on the same team. So they do a lot of duel stuff with them, which, uh, which is pretty, pretty cool. Chris Davis. Uh, Freddie Freeman. And, oh, that's cool. I really like that. Uh, I like any of his stuff where he's in the, the old school Mariners. So a bat and a double, double jersey game used to 150. Not an auto on there, unfortunately. But, um, 
you know, what are you gonna do? Still a cool card. Goldschmidt base on the back, Kershaw on the front, and Luzardo, rookie auto, to 199. He's got really good stuff, but he is a relief pitcher, so um, not a ton of upside in his cards, unless he becomes like, you know, Mariano Rivera or something. But um, And this feels like a really thick card. Oh, no, it's a, we got an extra card in here. Oh, because we have another rookie card. So we... Uh, we got an extra rookie base. Maybe they don't count if you get a parallel. Take that though. Very cool. Jose Abreu to 50. And there's our Nico Horner. So I'm feeling better about this, uh, our rookies now that we hit an extra. And Nico's a really, really nice name. So not sure what those base cards are gonna go for. I mean, they're so rare, but I don't know if that's necessarily gonna mean anything. Uh, Walker Bueller, stamp of approval. I feel like we've seen him a bunch in this case. Might only be a second card, but it just feels like a lot because there's not, uh, not very many. Loriano. Our last pack has an auto as well, so I'm not going to skip it and save it. Reese Hoskins and Bobby Bradley. So when I said that Yamamoto signs a lot of stuff, you're going to see a ton of Bobby Bradley. 65 of 99. Another uh, rookie that is going to be... And I feel bad saying this because, I mean, a major league is a major league. Really good players. But he's going to kind of be the filler autos for a lot of the products. To uh, um, Got a Lou Gehrig, Chris Bryant, and a purple. No way. Are you kidding me? Our second Al Kaline auto. Like I mentioned before, just passed away a couple days ago. From everything I'd read and heard about him, just an amazing guy. Obviously a you know tremendous player. Probably the last last on card autos um, in existence of his. Wow. Um, and this one's to 50. Really cool card. Um, I enjoyed this product a lot. Um, I hope you guys did as well. I'm actually working on some new graphics to kind of show some kind of an update of all the, the hits that we did get. Uh, I really like Topps Tribute. It's not cheap, so, you know, obviously if it's out of your budget, um, that's, you know, understandable. But if you do have, you know, 300 bucks to uh, spend on a box, I, I really like this. And with baseball, you know, everything kind of being pushed back, I think this is one of the newer releases for a while. So, um, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you did. Let me know if you guys got any Topps Tribute and what you thought of it. I, those two K-Line autos were great, and then the Trout and, and all that. But, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you.